everything weird. Hi guys, it's me Keith again. So, iko continue po natin yung tutorial natin. This time we are going to create a trifold flyer or brochure. So, a trifold brochure is the same concept as what we have with the poster. However, the only difference with this one is we are going to create divisions on each of the areas of a particular paper so the paper that we're going to use let's say a short bond paper then we are going to divide them by three or depending upon the number of folds you're going to divide it okay so click po natin yung start menu click po natin yung new same with the previous exercise we are going to use inches so the width will be 11 and the height will be 8.5. Be sure po na naka inches po siya para wala po tayong magiging problema. So I'm just going to use 150 for my resolution. Then click OK. So this is how it's going to look like. Same files na lang din po yung gagamitin natin so that we will not be having any trouble or it will not take us a lot of time to find images okay from the internet so i'm just going to click on file open then i'm going to search for those uh, files where is it located i think it's somewhere in here it's under resources there you go so i'm just going to choose this one so this was the previous exercise that we did it's about a poster so ngayon iha highlight po natin yung dalawa click on open so meron na po tayong dalawang file again i'm just going to drag this one using this tool tawag po sa tool na to is move tool so click po natin then just drag don't release your left mouse pointer or click then point it over here then drag it over here so then you can release it now this time, kung mapapansin ba natin medyo maliit, you can just hover your mouse over this area and drag it like that, okay? Then click the checkbox. Now once it's already there, the next thing that we're going to do is to drag this one as well. So click, drag it over here, there you go. So I'm still going to use this one. So I'm just going to resize it like that. There. So the next part is we are going to divide this uh, paper, let's say, into three different folds. So after placing all the necessary uh, images or components, next is we are going to click on this tool, yung pinatawag po natin na slice tool. Si slice tool po is located under craft tool, so usually ito po yung makikita natin. So just click on this arrow, yung maliit na arrow, ikiklik po natin yung slice tool. So once you have clicked on the slice tool, highlight mo lang po sa pinaka tip, then drag it hanggang sa another tip or another, to the other end. Yan. So you will be able to see a highlight. Then next is we are going to divide this one into three equal sides, okay, or slices. So right click, then divide slice. And afterwards, divide vertically into, so ilang uh, slices ba, so we are going to use three. So automatically it will create a visual division. So magkakaroon na po tayo ng idea na meron tayo paglalagyan or ano yung mga components na ilalagay natin. So if I want to create another image, uh, let's say copy of this, I'm just going to hold my alt key on my keyboard, mapapansin po natin nag-change po yung kanyang cursor. So you can just click and drag, let's say I'm going to place it over here, and another copy over here. And there you go. Then the next thing that you can do is just to populate it with details. So this will be the outward area. So since na divide na po natin or we have created slices, three uh, equal slices of our brochure or trifold brochure, the next thing that we're going to do is to populate it with details. Yung details po is na create na po natin. Actually, I'm going to provide you with all the details through the link that I'm going to place underneath this video description. So double click po siya. There. 
Okay, ito po yung mga details na ilalagay natin in here. Okay, so first I'm going to write down the title in here. So isusulat ko po yung uh, pangalan ng title. Let's say for example, ilalagay ko po is Fixy Car Detailing. Yeah. So I'm going to resize this one. There you go. So afterwards, once you think that this one is already okay, uh, you can place additional what they call this uh, slogans or banners. So let's say if I'm going to place, for example, this part. Let's say I'm just going to use it. Uh, quality of service. Uh, e. There you go. I'm just going to resize it through here. Yeah. So if you think it's already okay, so then go to move tool, drag it over here. Again, this is just a sample, so I'm just going to lock this area. So we will not be very particular with the design since we are doing this one in a pretty much tight time basis so next I'm going to use this one the rectangle tool so I'm just going to drag it over here just to place create some sort of a division border highlight layer so mapapansin po natin yung kulay niya is dark blue so I change it through here so click if you want to change it you can just click here then depending upon your desired color so I'm going to use that one so if I don't want any stroke or remove the outline just click on this one there outside click there you go now question if you can't see the uh, header definitely it's uh, the positioning or yung pagkaka um, position po nila kung saan siya nakalagay so I'm just going to drag this one downwards pupunta po dito there so para magkita natin okay so I think it doesn't look good in here but if you just want it to be in there it's okay so I'm just going to duplicate this one same thing Hold your Alt key on your keyboard, drag it downwards. There you go. So you can place the contact details over here. Yeah. Okay. So afterwards, so if let's say we are done with it, so I'm going to place the details, the header details, completely fixy, really fixy, and pretty big fixy. So I'm just going to duplicate this one. Uh, what they call this? Uh, services. So I'm going to place something like. I'm just going to copy this one. So the technique in creating brochures to make it look much more in a balanced basis. So I'm going to use only two font styles so this one is completely fixy then the other one is really fixy and the last one is pretty fixy fixy there you go now if, oh there's another one quite fixy I'm sorry for the background noise guys hopefully it won't distract you from from learning this one so I'm just going to highlight all the text once they are all highlighted then you can click on this one there you go drag it using your move tool okay na well again this is just a sample so it doesn't really look that good then you can provide the details over here so for me gusto ko sana na medyo na hindi siya ganun ka opaque or dapat may transparency effect so just going to click on this one yung opacity po bababaan po natin same thing with this bababaan ko lang titimpla-timplahin yun lang okay so that's it so if you want to provide details in this area it's okay you can use the details that we have here 
so same thing i'm just going to remove the bullets click then on the side there you go so we just copy on this one i'll just copy this one so this is just a sample so definitely this will be very crappy guys there you go paste okay then i'm just going to copy this one over here it's just a sample again so i'm not trying to make it too detailed so this is the first let's say this is from lead pixie okay and the other one is let's say this is really fixy. The double L right there. There you go. Okay. So once you think it's done, oh, I forgot. I need to place the contact details over here. So if I'm going to click in here. I'm just going to use bench script then contact info. I'm just going to resize it over here, here like that. There you go. Then drag it over here. I have my contact info. Usually the they provide or some of the brochure main makers they provide it on every side so that every time you're going to open it then you will be able to see how you're going to contact your uh, what they call this the service provider okay so that's how you're going to create a trifold uh, brochure using Adobe Photoshop now if you want to provide designs on the front page because this is some sort of a back page it's the same concept okay so you're just going to create uh, the same design with different details okay so to save that one just click on file save us then wherever you wish to save it so I'm just going to create a backup I'll just place this one as P I'll save this one as PS3 there sorry guys it's very noisy in here save us again then JPEG there you go so this is the trifold trifold brochure okay so that's it guys i hope you have learned something so again this is just a sample so i am not very particular with the design details thank you so much and have a nice day bye